YouTube. I'm coming at you guys with my new hairstyle that I so love and I've been like harassing everybody about these braids like should I get them should I not get them because I've never had braids before so like this was a new change for me because either I had weave or I've had my hair out or some type of short haircut so this is something new and I was very afraid to try it but I'm like you know what at the end of the day if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, I can take it out if it didn't look right. But thank the Lord Jesus, the sweet baby Jesus above. It came out wonderful. I'm going to bring it to the front so you guys can kind of get the gist of, you know, I have it tied back in one of those knot things back here. It's still kind of tight, so I haven't really done too much with, with it. Because they say when it's tight, not to pull on it too much because the tension, well, that's what causes the popping. And for, you know, you get you get hair loss like that. So I haven't touched them too much. I'm going to wait until they loosen up and try and really start messing with it. So I just pulled it from out the knot thing. And as you can see, they're pretty long. They come to about my waist. And I'm on my cell phone, so I don't know how. But and then they come all the way down to my butt. I've been sitting on them all day. I got a car and sat on them. We went to the movies. I was sitting on them. So I've got to get used to having them in my head. Other than that, I love these so much. Here's a... You can see how long they are. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. They complement my style really well. You know, they're easy. They're great for, you know, if you're growing your hair back or you're doing the natural thing. This is a wonderful protective hairstyle. Especially if you let them know, like, not to do them so tight when you get around hair so that, you know, you're not pulling on any hairs. I have my baby hairs down because I, I had to leave them out. I don't want those things in there and then, you know, those being pulled. I used my Cream of Nature. Perfect Edges Argon Oil. I um I dipped my toothbrush in there. It's kind of like a gel consistent consistency. I put the toothbrush in, swipe, and then I'll just you know comb them down and swoop them. <laughs> um, the hair color is 27, and I guess they all come one length. But what makes it long is that she didn't cut it when she was applying it. She just kind of just you know started going to town braiding. I have I used 100% Conecalon hair. This is the package it came in. Um, three bundles of hair come inside each pack. So, um, so three, six, nine. So I had nine pieces all together, and they were four dollars a piece. So I spent twelve dollars all together on everything. I have one bundle left. We used all of them except this one here. So I could kind of show you guys what the hair looks like. So you know, once you take the rubber band out. Sorry, <laughs> this is how it looks. Um, the hair is tangle free. After she braided it, she dipped the ends in the hot water. I guess that um locks the braids in so that they don't unravel, and it makes them straight because I'm sorry, I got this gum in my mouth. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I was saying. Okay, um, this video is long already as it is. I showed you guys the hair and what I used on my edges. I gotta go pick up braid spray because I've seen a couple of videos where everybody's using it and they say the braid spray is good because it puts moisture in here and that will allow it from not breaking. So I need to go pick some of that stuff up. Other than that, if you guys have any questions or anything, you can leave them in the box. I'll be glad to answer. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.